Hey, what's up? Pixelfox here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at something that not a lot of photographers actually discuss, and there's not that much info in it, and that's basically the My Menu section in the camera menus. Now, in front of the camera here, I've got the 5D Mark III, and I'll in this video, I'm just gonna quickly run you um, through what I personally have in my menu, and hopefully that's gonna kind of inspire you to create your own, and I will also explain why it's useful. Anyway, so if I press the menu button here on my camera, my menu is the first thing that pops up, and I'll show you how to set that. Um, basically, it's a set of settings that you can find all over in the other menus there. Um, but the thing is that um, you can put your kind of mostly used settings all in one place. So when you're on the shoot, um, you need to run and gun, you need to change settings or, you know, swap some cards or whatever, what have you, um, you can just quickly change the settings. So, um, in my personal menu here, I've got a selection like this. So basically, first of all, I've got the exposure compensation and auto exposure bracketing. Um, I mainly use this for HDRs, because um, sometimes they shoot landscapes, interiors, stuff like that, so it's really useful to just kind of set it from here. Um, the second option I've got is the battery information and on this 5D here I've got a battery grip and that battery information section um, actually helps me determine how many shots I've taken already, uh, what's the shutter count on the cur current batteries and how many shots I can kind of um, take on my charge um, on estimate. Um, I know that you've got, you know, a battery bar on the top LCD, but like I said, this just gives you uh, much more information. So that is that. Um, then I've got the custom white balance setting, and that is basically for quick setting of custom white balance. For some reason, there's no button on it um, anywhere, not at least not as far as I know. Um, so, you know, you can change all your preset white balance settings and stuff like that, but unfortunately um, Custom is just omitted. I think maybe the 1DX has it, don't know, but you know, it's useful for me um, Next up I have the white balance itself um, The funny thing is that I've got a dedicated white balance setting button on the 5D uh, itself um, but there's one thing missing from it. Again, if I go into the menu, I can set all these um, presets here, but I can also set the Kelvin values, which I can't do um, from the top LCD. Again, don't know why that's omitted and why that's not a thing, but you know, I find myself using this every now and then, so I've got it here. So that's that. Um, the other thing I've got is a recording function and a card selection folder, a card folder selection. So basically, um, since it's a 5D Mark III, I've got two card slots and I just kind of um, changed the modes and I've only got one CF in there at the moment and just create new folders and stuff like that. So that's really quick. If we go back, um, the last setting I've got is mirror lockup. Um, every now and then I do product shoots and stuff like that, so a mirror lockup combined with a tripod just minimizes camera shake, and that's about it. So that's my um, kind of quick selection of different settings that I most often use. The rest is on the camera as buttons, or I just simply don't use enough to actually uh, put it on the menu. Um, unfortunately, there's a limitation. That's how many settings you can put in, which is six. Don't know why, again, could be more, but um, basically, to set it up yourself, you just go into the My Menu settings and um, you click this Register to My Menu and then you've got all the options available in your camera and that works on the later um, Canon cameras. I've got a 60D which I'm filming with right now and it's got the same thing. Um, obviously fewer settings because it is a 60D, um, older model. Um, yeah, so once you've selected all your um, bits and bobs into the menu, you can sort them. Say for example, I want my battery info to be at the bottom. I can just kind of move it here, really simple. I'm just gonna put it back up, there you go. 
Um, then we can delete the items, delete all. And the last setting is display from my menu. So basically what this does is if you enable it and you go back to whatever, so I'm shooting, if I click menu, it's gonna bring up my menu settings. Now that's unexpected behavior for the last menu item you've selected. But if I select something else and go away and go back into the menu, it's still gonna bring up my menu. Um, so you can kind of make sure that that quick selection of yours is gonna be um, the first thing that always pops up. Anyway, so that's the uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if there's enough interest, I can make another video um, talking about my 60D selection, which is quite similar, a little different, but you know, it's about the same really. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, if you find this video useful, enjoyable, maybe you like my voice, maybe you hate me, I don't know, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you've got any questions, um, you can always put a comment down below. I usually answer all the comments if I see them. God forbid Google, Google Plus doesn't show them all. Um, so yeah, anyway, thank you for watching and we will see you next time.